CB1 and CB2 receptors on your skin. And then... Jehan Marku is the chief science officer with the nonprofit Americans for Safe Access. Nationwide, he trains medical marijuana companies on the product they sell and the wide range of unique implications of operating such a business. He brought his expertise Monday to a session for some of Maryland's first licensed medical marijuana dispensary operators. Just because the FDA doesn't approve of cannabis doesn't mean inspectors won't show up to look at the health and safety. You know, Department of Health regularly inspects cannabis operations. How are these operations going to be prepared? They come and they take our training, reduces their risks, and it gets them in shape and ready. From the complicated science of cannabis to the practical issues of a business, Americans for Safe Access also trains those in this budding industry how to deal with the legal limbo of medical marijuana. Operating a medical marijuana company is legal in Maryland, but it's technically a federal crime. The Trump administration has indicated it would continue to relax enforcement on medical marijuana businesses as long as they follow certain business rules. You know, even if they take efforts to um, to shut down your business, you have legal protections because technically they're not supposed to be doing that. But just in case, this day-long training has a section on how to respond to a federal raid. Jeff Sessions could issue a memo this afternoon saying you can forget everything that we've done in the past and we're now going to crack down on these businesses. Recreational marijuana use is still illegal in Maryland, but a Goucher College poll released today showed 58% a Maryland residents support legalizing it. 36% don't support that. We're live in Howard County, George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News.